Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me for my review of the film The Belco Experiment, uh, which I just thought, uh, saw today and thought it would be interesting to give my thoughts on it. So this is a film directed by Greg McLean and starring Tony Goldwyn, John C. McGinley, John Gallagher Jr., and uh, many other recognizable faces. And uh, I have to say, this movie was an average film for the most part, which was pretty much what I expected. The concept of this film is basically that I think it's 80 people are locked in a building where they work. And if they don't follow instructions, you know, basically to do in others, harm will come to them. So definitely not a new concept. But uh, concepts don't always have to be new to work, in my opinion. And so the question is, does this film work? And uh, I say partially, and I'll explain that more as I go. So good things about this film. Overall, the acting is pretty solid. The cast is solid all the way around. And, uh, you know, you're not going to see anything award-winning, but this kind of film doesn't call for it. And I thought overall the acting was fine. Another good thing about this film is the pacing. Uh, this movie is 88 minutes long. And uh, I really like that. Once again, as I've said before, I think a lot of current films are way too long. This movie knows what it is, and it uh, gets its plot in and out in 88 minutes, which I thought was very good. Um, another thing, and I'll leave this up to you to decide if it's good or bad, the gore effects are pretty well done in this movie. They're pretty convincing. Uh, whether you like gore or not, you know, this will be a plus or a minus. But uh, I was actually pretty impressed by this uh, aspect of the film overall. Now, on the downside, while I said the gore effects are good, um, you know, none of that is that original, though. There's no real original methods of things. It's pretty much just everything you would expect. I thought the movie could have been a little bit more creative in that regard. Uh, also, there's no real twist throughout. The movie plays everything pretty straightforward. It's just, you know, do this or something will happen. Do you do that or something will happen. I kept waiting for some kind of big twist and... Uh, other than kind of a silly ending to this film, which really didn't totally work for me, um, there weren't really any twists throughout. Uh, but the main real issue with this film is an issue with a lot of films, and that's that the character development is pretty standard and at times not uh, very satisfactory at all. Now, look, I know in a film with, uh, you know, like basically 80 people, you're not going to develop all 80 characters. That's something you need to do on a weekly show. But I feel that the main characters could have been fleshed out a bit more. There were a lot of times in this movie where something happened to a character, and I just didn't care that much. So overall, there's some good and bad things about this film. It's a very watchable film. Uh, you know, it's very interesting in places, and like I said, parts of it are well done, the acting and directing are fine, the effects are fine, but there's really no depth, in my opinion, to this film at, at all, and uh, I could have done with a different ending, but others may like the ending and find it to be clever. So overall, for me, The Belco Experiment was an average film, and I'm going to give it a two and a half out of five, and I would say if you like this type of uh, thriller, you know, horror film, then you may enjoy this film, others can definitely pass. So two and a half out of five for The Belco Experiment, as always, thank you very much for watching.